G'day folks, coming to you from Gainesville, Florida. Today I'm doing a beer run using the Beer Wagen. So I've got one of my personal bikes, my old Colnago C50 cross bike that I used to race quite a bit on, not cross, but mostly silly gravel races and whatnot a long time ago. And there's the Beer Wagen, aka the Bob Trailer. And I've got um, him set up with Cooler. We're gonna head over to one of my favorite local breweries. They're very pro cycling, Cypress and Grove, and pick up a couple of growlers full of some uh, luscious brews. Three things come to mind. One, how nice this Colnago rides. It's been many years since I've ridden this bike. Two, how nicely this trailer tracks behind the bike. And three, once you get it rolling, it's not that big of a deal to maintain the uh, pace. And as a bonus, number four, I could always start my own dodgy brothers bicycle delivery service. I better give you a quick glance at the steed as I'm rolling along. You know what's worse than a headwind? It's towing a trailer with a bloody headwind. <laughs> So somebody calling themselves the gravel cyclist wouldn't be the gravel cyclist unless they said let's take the beer wagon off road as well during our errand to the brewery. The good thing is my fancy beer wagon aka Bob trailer has full suspension so the beer is, is going to ride in comfort. You know what else is shocking? This bike has canty brakes. Oh my god. Look at that. Yeah, the, they work. You trendsetters might be wanting to know what's the deal with the bike in terms of the group set. Well, it's fitted out with the original Shimano Jira HDI2, the 10 speed version. And it's over 10 years old and it's still kicking ass. And funnily enough, this is a Magnolo bike because the cranks. Uh, can Pagnolo record that sacrilege I know but it is what it is at the time when I built this bike a long time ago Campy was not producing or making the electronic EPS group set so I had to do a hybrid let's have a look We're pulling up on the brewery after we give way to these cyclists here. I'm very thankful one of my good mates purchased a gift certificate and he gifted me some beer. So one growler for him and one growler for me. One of my mates, he's picking up some beer as well on his bike. How cool is that? Say something to the camera, mate. Hi. There you go. That was profound. Time for beer. That was profound. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let's look at his bike real quick. He's running 650Bs by the look of it. It's the only wheel someone says. He's very into 650Bs. And who can blame him? What was the name? There you go, there's the steed. A very rare Cornago C50 cross bike. And the beer wagon on the back with the cooler squished, but ready to collect a couple of growlers. Thank you very much. Right now, it's time to load the goodies up here. Uh oh, we've got some dog murdering going on behind us. Myself a towel or two to stop these things from banging around. Look at that, everything is loaded up, ready to go. Now we're gonna make a trip, hopefully, no dramas to my mate's house and drop off some beer and some for myself as well. Mm. That is bloody trick or what? Beer inside. There goes the other beer lady. Have a nice ride. We're rolling with the precious beer cargo on board. Just have to hope the suspension keeps the beers from getting shaken around too much. That's not too bad, 26k an hour with a full on load of beer in the back. 
who says you can't haul ass and cargo at the same time? This seat that could be an interesting test of the suspension for the beers. Ah, oh, it's a bit rough. Twenty-one kilometers in, almost to my mate's house. Dropping off his beer momentarily. Entering my mate's neighborhood. Very nice. Dropped off the brewskis to my mate. Got a cruise home. Hopefully, I'll have a nice tailwind and I'll enjoy one of these beers myself. Well, folks, that about wraps up the beer collection, beer bargain video. Hope you enjoyed riding along with me during one of my silly errands. There you go, folks. Beer made at home safely. Well, after that mission being a success, I reckon it's time for a post ride beer in my Hilly Billy Roubaix Mason Jar, which is one of my favorite races on the planet. Hopefully, it will return for 2021. And that is a pretty shock and pour.